All right. Let's write a simple Ansible playbook today for fetching configuration off a Juniper router. We'll fetch the config from a virtual SRX device running on GNS3. Keep in mind though that you can run the playbook we write today on any Junos device. First, let's enable netconf on our Junos router, a requirement of the Ansible module we'll be using. We'll also need to create a new robot user for our Ansible agent. I'll copy and commit the config to the router. Let's now head over to our VM, which we'll be using for today's exercise. Before we can write our playbook, you'll need to install some dependencies. I'm using Ubuntu for my Ansible host, so here are the relevant commands for Ubuntu. I've already run the commands myself, so I won't run them again. Here's what they do though. The first several commands will update the machine and install Ansible. The next two commands will install Python and a Python package manager. The final two commands will install our Python dependencies. NC client is a netconf client and JXM lease will handle XML to JSON conversion. These Python dependencies are specific dependencies of the netconf get Ansible module. Once that's done, we may now configure our Ansible hosts file located at etc Ansible hosts. This is where access details of our router are specified, such as the router's IP address and SSH credentials. We may now create our playbook file, which will be responsible for fetching the configuration from our router. I'll copy and paste our playbook contents into the file. Taking a look at the file, we can see how it works. Here we just have a description of our playbook. We have configured the playbook to run against all hosts. The crux of the playbook is the netconf get ansible module, which handles the actual remote procedure call to fetch the configuration over netconf. A neat point to note about this module is that it actually is vendor agnostic, so you can run this module against more than just Juniper routers, and in theory, it should still work. We've also specified the option to convert the configuration into JSON format and then saved it to a variable to later be printed. Let's go ahead and run the playbook to see how it works. And there you go. We have our entire running configuration displayed in a nicely structured JSON object. That will conclude today's tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. I'll also shout out UltraConfig, a powerful piece of software for automating the generation of network configuration. If you work in the network engineering industry, I highly recommend you to check it out. A link will be in the description. I'll also put a link in the description to today's playbook for you to use it yourself. That'll be it for today. Thanks for watching and take care until next time.